YouTube, today we're trying a brand new team featuring Magnazone and Tapabulu. If you do enjoy the videos, be sure to leave a like down below, leave a comment down below. It really does help me out. Make sure you check out the team down below with the pastebin available in the description, as well as the rental code right here on your screen for two weeks before it expires. So make sure you grab what you can, but otherwise, let's get started and play some games. Hey! Are y'all subscribed to the channel? About 50% of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed to the channel. If you would like to see more cool teams this month, make sure you do so. Thank you. Dialga right here with Dialga, Grimmsnarl, Rotom Heat, the Urshifu, Tapafini, and Rillaboom. So this is actually an interesting matchup. The Dialga is actually a pretty scary Pokemon. It really is. So can't really use the team like how I wanted it to with like trapping stuff for uh, Glastrier setups. Which is a little bit awkward. Is Mimikyu the right call in this matchup? I think it's not. It really doesn't accomplish much other than like taunt the Grimmsnarl. Screens are going to be a little bit annoying, but I do have Brick Break on top of Bulu at least. I think my play is like Incineroar Magnezone? Or maybe like something passive. Like Incineroar Kyogre is not that bad either in this matchup. Yeah, I don't mind Zli Incineroar Kyogre just going with like Bulu uh, Magnezone in the back. Yeah. Because you can't fake tears my Incineroar, so I should be able to get a punish off into the Dialga pretty safely. And I could play around like what I could scout for what Dialga has. Because I don't know what they lead here, but I'm assuming it's probably like Grimmsnarl Dialga right here. Let's find out here. Magna's own trapping is actually pretty good because the main threat I do want to try to get rid of is going to be that Dialga. If I can get rid of Dialga, I think Bulu can actually have a pretty nice time against their team. I don't know if they bring Rotom Heat though. That's the big question mark right here. So let's see. Daily Incineroar Dialga, this is, uh, or not Incineroar Dialga, or Shifu Dialga, this is going to be a little bit concerning. So it's Dialga plus Grimmsnarl, yep, but exactly as we anticipated right here. It's just a really good common lead. You have a lot of options with screens, trick. I just don't know what this set will be. Probably it's screens, fake tier, spirit break. That's what I would imagine this is going to be. They could have fake out, but I just don't imagine them clicking fake out because they don't want to mess with like the Incineroar speed tier immediately. I mean, they could theoretically, I guess, if they max Dialga because they don't risk much. The Grimmsnarl would like trade the fake out for the Incineroar turn anyway. But yeah, we are going to parting shot here and we are going to protect and uh, play a little bit of a passive game right here. Let's find out what they want to do. So I'm going to make this play here. They go for Max Quake to Incineroar. It's the worst situation, but it's I should still be able to survive at least and get that parting shot into Dialga, which is really important. So we are going to see a Dynamax from that, uh, that Dialga. Oh boy, this is uh, not exactly. This is just a hard one. This is just a hard one. Dialga, just all of these steel type restrictors can be a bit tough, even with the Magda Zone. I was more like preparing for a on teams than anything. Let's see how this is going to go, though. Let's see. I protect the Kyogre here. And what are you doing with the Dialga? That's the big question. Oh, they did click fake out. They click Quake, though. Flare. I guess it caught switches. That's an interesting play right there. It's life orb. Okay. I'm not surprised. There should be dragon. I'd imagine. <sighs> Flare is weird. I think they're trying to catch switches as well as uh, reset the weather, which is really smart by them. I'm going to parting shot and I'm going to go Bulu here because my plan originally was to like have Bulu absorb the max dragon originally. So let's see if this can be the case. I'm assuming this is like Fate Tears Max Dragon. I'm going to go Bulu here. Let's see if my plan works because I do have to try to stall out this Dynamax turns effectively. Now let's see. Fake out on the Grimmsnarl makes this a little bit awkward. It's going to be the Fake Tears. Yep, it is into the Bulu slot. So big question is, who are you targeting right here? They went for Incineroar. Do I survive? I am pretty specially defensive, but it's Life Orb. Okay, I do survive. That's really good. Okay. At least I survived a hit, which is really nice. Okay. I'm okay with this. Not too bad. I've stalled out a bit of their Dynamax. I have taken quite a bit on the Incineroar, but I could probably play around it. Uh, my only concern is my Rillaboom answer is quite weakened, but I could probably beat Rillaboom with a combination of a few things. Uh, specifically, Bulu might be able to handle it, especially with some Knuckle Boosts. Uh, let's see here. We're going to go out into our Kyogre, I guess. Or we could go Magnezone, but I'd rather go Kyogre here and just protect. Or maybe even call Mine on this last turn. I wouldn't mind call Mining here. And going out in Incineroar, I think, for the Rillaboom slot. As I think I should be able to live the Steel Spike. 
I feel like the Kyra Protect is pretty obvious since I did already go for the Protect immediately. So they might be targeting my Boo slots. I'm going to Calm Mind here. I'm going to go out and Incineroar. Let's see. Do they make the aggressive play here? Because the Calm Mind boost is really nice because it helps with the fake tiers. It allows me to set up easier. They could hard switch in a Rillaboom for the, the Grimsaw, which would be a really smart play. I don't think I would mind that too much because the special defense boost is actually a really good backup in case this Dialga is one of the slower variants. And uh, Kyra is able to get the Calm Mind off before the Dialga is able to move. So here comes the Incineroar, hopefully on a Steel Spike here. Could be Flare. I don't mind if it's Flare. Flare's not bad for me either. Sucker Punch is fine. Which is an interesting call here. Yeah, it's still spike perfect. Yep, Incineroar lives perfect. Okay, that's ideal. So we s wait, hold on. It's fake tears, fake outs, sucker punch. Okay, so spirit break. I guess that's their entire moveset. That's fine. All right, I don't mind that call. Mine gonna come out from the Kyogre right here. So we confirmed that the deal is at plus one speed death, which isn't too bad here. So maybe my best play here, I'm assuming, is to fake out Origin Pulse, the Grimmsnarl, because Grimmsnarl is the biggest threat right here, right now. As plus one, Origin Pulse might get the knockout into the Grimmsnarl here. Get a lot of damage in Dialga, and then I can trap the Dialga using my Magnazone. So yeah, we are going to fake out. I mean, I definitely live... Wait, hold on. Hmm. I can also fake out Dialga. But I mean, fake tears on the Kyra is a little bit awkward for Rotom if it's in back, right? And Rotom's probably one of the more awkward matchups for the back two Pokemon I have here. So yeah, I'll just fake out an Origin Pulse. Fake out into the slots. We do flinch it. Draco Meteor going to come out. Oh, they're going to get trapped in with Magnazone and then they can't do anything. So we are going to see the Draco Meteor come out into Incineroar. Pick up the knockout. That's fine. The Dial is now at minus three. Can't really accomplish much. Okay, pretty solid for me. Pretty good for me. Okay. Hit the Origin Pulse. Hit the Origin Pulse. It doesn't have to be the DL. Just hit the Grim Snarl. As I don't want to deal with fake tears anymore. I got enough fake tears in my life. Not enough, but it's fine. Good damage. Good damage. Pretty solid damage. I don't mind that. Okay. And I still have Dynamax available, which is a pretty big thing. We are going to go out into Magnus Zone here and trap in that Diaga. So that Diaga, you're in. <laughs> Okay, perfect. We can go for Origin Pulse here and just don't want to do, I guess, Protect. What's their Dialga move says? Steel Spike. So it's Flash Cannon or Steel Beam. We saw Draco Meteor. We saw the Fire move. We don't know the last one. I think it might be Earth Power, so I will protect the Magnezone because I might as well keep Magnezone healthy in case I want to Dynamax the Magnezone the late game. I don't know what their last Pokemon is, but we'll see. If it's Rotom, I'm going to have to play around this, but what's nice is I don't think it's... Would it be Nasty Plot? It could be Nasty Plot. If it's Rillaboom, Rotom, he combination, it's the, that's the awkward part. But I feel like any other combination we should be able to beat, I think, with Dynamax either Kyogre or Dynamax uh, the Hapabulu. So protect the Magnezone here. This Magnezone trapping the Dialg is actually really nice here. Fake Tear is going to come out into the Kyogre. Makes sense. I'd imagine you're turning down the Kyogre here. The Draco. Yep. Okay, that's fine. And maybe I should have went for Flash Cannon, so I only could have went for like Ice Beam, but that's okay. Yeah, like Kyogre ate that up, especially since we already saw the Dialga was at minus three before now, minus five. Maybe I should have kept the Dialga in. Okay, that works. I was about to say, maybe I should have kept the Dialga in because it's really not doing too much. And I'll definitely take that. Okay. So goodbye, Grimmsnarl. And next Pokemon, please. If the Rillaboom has random high horsepower, though, I'm in a pinch. But otherwise, I should be fine. If it's Rotom Heat, I'm going to geyser that slot. Yeah, and this Leftovers plus Grassy Terrain, I absolutely love the combination on Kyogre. It's really, really solid. Let's see. Who are you bringing out? Is this... I have no clue. Or Shifu. Okay. So it's Darker Shifu. Don't really mind that too much here. I think my best play is just to go for the Hailstorm into their shifu and volt switch to your shifu actually uh how much do i need magnezone for anything in the back compared to like yeah i don't really need magnezone compared to like real boom so i will hailstorm here and volt switch i guess okay we're gonna hailstorm their shifu the reason we're hailstorming is because if it's sash and you know if it's if it knocks out my magnezone here this turn that's fine because i think hailstorm should be able to pick up the knock bring this to sash and knock it out afterward and then I also got to Yeah, I think I should be fine otherwise. I don't need Mana Zone. I think uh, Real Boom is way more important, but we'll see here. 
Gonna be Wicked Blow into the Kyogre. Yeah, that should be Sash damage. Wait, did I Volt Switch or Flash Cannon? I mean, it's fine. Yeah, they went for Overheat, which I should be able to take pretty comfortably. Yeah, that does absolutely nothing. <laughs> and <he, laughs> Overheat's an interesting move on the DR. It's pretty low now. And yeah, this is pretty solid. Hailstorm gonna come out. I guess uh, if it's really booming back, I mean, I'm still fine, right? I got Tapu Bulu. And Tapu Bulu should be able to beat the... Uh, yeah, it is Sash. So yeah, as I expected, Hailstorm was the right call. Because if they close combat, doubled my Magnus Zone. I would have gotten rid of the Urshifu regardless. I think, right? Because I'm pretty sure Hail goes first. I could be wrong. Okay, no. But Volswitch does come out, which is fine. So good by Urshifu. And I don't need to trap into Diog anymore. So I guess Volswitch is okay here. I'm gonna go out into Bulu, get my little bit of, well, I mean, doesn't really change anything here. I can get a Madness off though, which would be really nice here. Let's see. Okay, I guess the only problem from Diaga's side is it can go for, it can be a little bit annoying if it crits. That's the only problem here. I mean, it is minus six and hopefully it doesn't crit, but if it does crit, that's pretty annoying. The Kyra has been taking some nice recovery right here. Okay. If it's Rotom in the back, I mean, we should be fine. Let's see. Is it Real Boom or is it Rotom? What was our last Pokemon? We already saw our Shifu. It's Rotom, yeah. I'm not surprised. Okay. Okay, so this game can still be pretty scary here. But I am going to go for the Geyser into the Rotom slot. And I'm going to go for a Brick Break here into the Dialga, I think. I guess I could protect Kyogre, right? Because they have to go for an uh, attack into the... Yeah, they have to attack the Kyogre, right? I guess I don't lose a turn here. They could overheat the Bulu, but I think that's an absolute choke, right? Because if you overheat the uh, the Bulu slot with your Rotom Heat, then you have to risk getting a crit on Kyogre for the knockout. I I, I am only minus one special defense uh, because of the call mine from earlier, but I think this is the safest play. They go for the Ice Beam, trying to freeze uh, just in case, which makes sense to me. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. I am able to take the knockout into the Dialga right here with the Brick Break. Goodbye, Dialga. Excellent. And uh, let's see. This should be a game because I'm pretty sure Kyra does win at this point. But, of course, uh, Rotom isn't exactly the most pleasant thing to deal with. So, I think the play is just the guys are here. I think. I could also switch out the Kyogre into a uh, Magnezone. That's not a terrible play, but it, that does give the Rotom some turns to passively go for a... Thunderbolt right uh, or nasty plot setup, which isn't exactly great. So although I would reset the weather, which actually could be huge. I guess that's not too bad because you are forced to Thunderbolt here. There's no way you overheat. You could plot, but I just really don't see it. I guess I'll madness the Rotom and switch out of Magnus Zone. I think I think uh, it just depends. They're going to forfeit anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. But I do think having the rain up would actually be really nice because the self as Tapu Bulu would be able to eat the overheats and I'd still pressure with the Kyogre regardless. So yeah, I think it would still been a really solid play regardless. But yeah, big Magnezone trapping into Dialga, which is really nice. I, I, it would have been, well, I mean, I guess if they got her Shifu next to Rotom, it would have been scarier. So yeah, like I should have thought about that turn a bit more. The miss actually was really fortunate for me because I think trapping would have been nice. I think I could have still won, even if it's like her Shifu plus Rotom heat combination, but it definitely would have been a little bit, uh, a little bit more annoying i think in the long term so i think yeah just leaving the dialga i should have trapped it in because of the fact that it was like minus what was it minus three or minus five at that point it really was a useless slot uh the only thing i was worried about was the if it crits me that's really annoying but i think uh at that point i think i should still just be trying to like target the other slot because i could focus in one thread at a time which i ended up doing because of that miss and yeah uh magnezone bulu very nice and the call mine kyogre really Really good set there in that match with the leftovers plus the grassy terrain healing so much and be able to dish out a lot of damage afterward, bulking out the Dialga's attack. If you currently enjoy the content you're watching and want to see more of it, make sure you check out my other YouTube channels, my second YouTube channel, my Eclipse channel, and of course, make sure you follow the action live on my Twitch channel. All links available in the description down below. Okay, we have a Zacian, Rotom Heats, the Landris, Grimmsnarl, Gastrodon, and the Rillaboom. So this looks like a game I I think I can manage pretty well. Now, I would bring Glastrier. I don't think I'm bringing it. Okay, so what do I think they would need? I think they would need the Zacian 100% in this matchup. It's good against Glass. I don't know what else to bring, though. I'd say Rillaboom, Gastro, and 
I'd say no Landers. They could bring Landers, though. I'm a little bit... Because I can see Grimmsnarl here as well. I really like Kyogre in this matchup, though. Kyogre is fantastic, especially the Calm Mind setting up immediately. I'm not really that worried about the Gastrodon because I can Calm Mind instead, which is pretty solid. So I kind of want to go Kyogre plus Incineroar. It's not a bad lead. I don't think they lead Reelaboom straight off the bat. I think I bring Magnazone so I can trap in the Zacian, which I think is really nice, and then have the Bulu in the back because it is good against the Gastrodon, which I'd be weak to otherwise. Now, I do got to be a bit cautious because they're Reelaboom. Huge threat. I got to make sure I have ways to deal with that effectively, whether it's weakening it, always having fake out pressure and a nice beam threat afterward. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, this should be a tough one, though. This is definitely going to be a tough one. This matchup, I'm not exactly too sure because I've never played this team with this team before, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be Zacian plus the Grimstone, looks like. Yeah, perfect. Okay, had a feeling. I don't remember. Is this Trick on the Grim? I can't remember. I think it's Thunder Wave. It's like fake out Thunder Wave, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Okay. The the sword is out. The drizzle is activated. And yeah, I mean, I kind of just want to fire off attacks here. Like if I can fire off attacks, it seems pretty solid here for the most part. Or I could call mine here. I could call mine too. I kind of want to call mine and parting shot out the Zacian right here and I don't think that's a bad play because if they fake out Sacred Sword for instance that's fine I don't think this is Sword Stance if they go on a Gastron and protect that's actually pretty good for me so yeah I'm gonna go for the parting shot into the Zacian and the Calm Mind they do see a swap here is this Reelaboom or Gastro Gastro perfect I don't mind that it should be protect then yeah that's fine don't mind that I'll take the Calm Mind boost with the Kyogre and I basically got a free Calm Mind up which is really good here super solid Absolutely will take that. Next turn, I'm thinking they might go into Reelaboom. Because I don't think they really want to risk the Zacian on a plus one attack right here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for a Ice Beam into the Zacian slot. And I think I'm going to Parting Shot out the Zacian slot as well. And try to bring in my Reelaboom pretty safely. Yeah, I like that. They say it's fine. They play rough, which is okay. I'll take this decently. Yeah, I eat that up pretty well. I do have a lot of defense investment. We do go for the Ice Beam into the Zacian for some chip, which is okay here. I will get a Parting Shot off into the Zacian as well. So now the Zacian's at minus one, and then I can go out into my Gast... Uh, not Gastron, into my Bulu. Get the Grassy Terrain up, which seems really solid here. So we go into Bulu. Okay. And... It should be on Earth Power, Scald, or Muddy Water, I'd imagine. Unless this Gastro's Yawn, that's a little bit strange for me, but otherwise I should be fine here. Let's see. It is Yawn, okay. So that's unfortunate because that means I probably do force my Kyogre out, but uh, that's not terrible. I don't know if it's Yawn Protect or it actually has a Water type move. I kind of just want to Horn Leech realistically and go to Insin. I think that's a pretty safe play for the most part. Yeah, I think that's a pretty safe play for the most part. I'm going to go instant here. And Horn Leech. Because then the Zacian is at minus one already. So it's going to be a minus two at this point. Because I got an Intimidated Punch Shot and now another Intimidate. Uh, so they should be switching out here, I'd imagine. I think they bring in either Reelaboom or Grimmsnarl here. I don't know what Gastro does, though. Because it's not in a safe... Gastro's not in a safe spot. So I don't know if they protect here. Protect Swap is probably the safest play. I don't mind that, but they stay in, which is perfect because I go into Incineroar right here. And yeah, I have the Intimidate off. I will live the Zacian Behemoth Blade. And I am hoping I can trap in this Zacian with Magnazone. They do swap out the Gastro, which is fine. Somebody take a Horn Leech. Real boom. Okay, that's perfectly okay. That's fine. Swords Dance. Okay, was not expecting that one. This one has Sword Dance. Interesting. Horn Leech is going to come out into the... Okay. Wait, so it's play rough. It's not Sacred Sword. Okay. Hmm. Makes things interesting. Makes things interesting. A Sword Dance really changes this matchup because I remember this being three attacks naturally. I think that means I double swap here. This should be like fake out play rough or fake out Sword Dance here. So I'm going to double swap here into the Magna Zone. Madison should wall. Oh, wait, hold on. Madison should wall the Zacian then. So if I can steal spike with Madison, I think I can win this game. Yeah, that sounds right. 
Still spiking with Madness Zone seems 100% like a safe play for the most part. I think I'm going to come out into the Incineroar. Not surprised. This should be like SD or a play rough. A play rough into... Yep, the Magnus Zone. Perfect. So Magnus Zone able to take that, which is really good here. And now the Zacian is trapped in. So can't escape, which is pretty solid. And I'm healing with my Kyogre. I basically have neutered this Zacian right here. And don't know what they're going to do here. Because I think I go instant here. And I go for a Flash Cannon pretty safely into their into the Zacian as Rillaboom. If it has U-turn, it goes for U-turn. I just hope it doesn't have high horsepower. But yeah, we are going to go in an instant here. Because if it is Gastro, I could probably play around it. Let's see. Let's see. Retreat the Kyogre. Bring out the instant for the Intimidate. This is in case... I don't want to steal Spike here and hard commit if the Zacian protects here. I don't know if they SD or protect. I think it's like one of the two coming out here. I'm just not 100% sure which one. So... They do play rough immediately. Nice. Okay. So I get some pretty good damage off into their Zacian. I'll take the attack drop. That's fine. U-turn going to come out. Perfectly acceptable. As I will heat my Citrus Berry and heal up. Okay. Trapping in the, in the Zacian seems really, really solid here. And I mean really, really solid. Let's see who comes out. Should be Gastro. If it's Grimmsnarl, that's a huge mistake. Ooh, it's Grimmsnarl. Okay. I want... Wait, what's your plan then? Flash Cannon's going to do a good amount. Not really that much, actually. I'm actually surprised about how little that did. Rain stops, which is fine. I'm going to be able to heal with some terrain. They're healing with their terrain, but that's okay. They do have access to Fake Out, which I guess is a thing. I'm not going to Parting Shot out immediately. I'm going to actually swap out my Instant. I'm going to go out into Bulu here. No, I'm actually going to go into Kyogre. Because play rough shouldn't do damage to Kyogre and I could recover the health, which I think is better. Uh, the only thing is, I did a lot less to that Zacian than I would have liked here. It should be fake out an instant, because I think you want a sword stance. Let's see. I don't think you fake out Magnezone. Actually, why am I Flash Kenny? I could T-Bolt. <laughs> I get T-Bolt, I, I, because T-Bolt has more power. I mean, I guess I could go for Spadef Drop, but yeah, I should be T-Bolting. It protect here, which is fine. What are you going for with the Grim? Light screen is okay. All right, this is actually a pretty good position, I think, for the most part, because I think I can now try to nail the Zacian. I don't care about a plus one Gastro if I eliminate the Zacian right here. So this might be my chance to eliminate the... Zacian right here with a Thunderbolt into an Origin Pulse right here. Now, Astro's 100% coming in. Light screen here. Okay. I think was that on the original team or was it Reflect? SC Train disappears. Uh, we definitely go for a Thunderbolt here. I don't know why I was Flash Cannon. Thunderbolt's always a play. Origin Pulse is just not going to do enough. That's a problem. I guess I could Calm Mind here. Calm Mind's not a bad play. Yeah, I can call mind here. This should always be Gastro. Yep. That's fine. Source Dance does come out. No surprise. I want to call mine because I'm pretty sure I don't knock out the Zacian just yet without an Origin Pulse. So I'm going to call mine with Kyogre to make sure that I can KO with the Thunderbolt plus Origin Pulse through Light Screen. Although I might not be able to. We'll see. I get a Thunderbolt off into the Zacian. Yeah, the, the damage is actually a little bit less than I was hoping for. Okay. So I have no clue what they're going to aim for now. I mean, I have the Zacian trapped in, but it's still awkward because this Gastro is threatening the Earth Power right here. So that's still pretty strange. I could go for Earth. I could go for a double protect here. It's not a bad play. I'm just worried they punish me with an Ice Beam. How was this Zacian at with the... Okay, they're back at plus one. So I could probably go back to Instant here. I will take an Earth Power, which isn't ideal here, but I think that's fine. I'm going to calm mind up with the Kyogre once again. If they yawn here, that's really bad though. But I think Earth Power makes a lot of sense to me. Like they could be Human Blade, Earth Power, the Instant Slot, which I think... Would that be bad? That would be pretty bad, wouldn't it? They play with my Kyogre, I think though, right? Yeah, okay, perfect. That's kind of what I thought would come out here. Attack drops don't matter. Calm mind with the Kyogre. Okay. All right, what's uh, Gastro doing here? 
Okay, that's fine. That is perfectly fine. I will gladly take that. Okay. Are you going to be human played by Incineroar? Or are you? I'm going to go Bulu here and I'm going to go for the Origin Pulse. But I protect. I kind of want to protect here. Because I don't know if this is Yawn. What would you do with the Zacian here? I would say... I say you could protect Yawn the Kyogre slot. Are you going to Behemoth Blade? I think Behemoth Blade is less likely. Oh, you could Behemoth... No, you could Behemoth Blade, Earth Power, double it up. You get a guaranteed knockout. But you could also be training your Zacian, which I think would be terrible. Because if I sack Magnazone and you get my Bulu... Uh, you get my Magnazone, because I could realistically go Magnazone. I think that would be a terrible play. Let's see. Okay, yeah, Zacian protects. Whoo! That's important. Protect the Kyogre here, and this should be Yawn into the... Perfect. Okay, got him. That was close. That was really close. Is Light Screen over yet? I don't think they're likely on this team, but we'll see, I guess. We'll see, I guess. Get all this recovery with Kyogre here. Light Screen's not over yet, okay. This is last turn of rain. Ugh, last turn of light screen. All right, we go out into our Magnazone or Incin here. Probably Mag. Because I trap in... I keep the thing trapped in... No, I go Incin, right? Because, uh... The Intimidate? Because they have to be here with Blade, I think, the boo slot here. Yeah. I think I'm just going to Origin Pulse. I'm going to Origin Pulse the Zacian and uh, go into Incin for the Intimidate once again. This, I think it has to be Behemoth Blade into a... Something from Gastrodon. Probably Yawn. Here goes Behemoth Blade. Yep, into the Incin slot. Perfect. I could have also went Kyogre Swap to Incin and be, uh, Horn Leech to Gastro. But I didn't think that was worth it. Because I think uh, if I get crit there, that's really bad. I do hit the Origin Pulse. Really good. Really good. Please, KO. Plus two. Just barely. But uh, that's fine. This is a pretty good turn for me regardless. Yeah, this is a pretty good turn for me regardless. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Because I'm healing all this recovery right here. I think this is parting shot out into Gastrodon and swap Kyogre out into my Magnazone. And I think that's the play. Yeah. I'm going to parting shot here and I'm going to go mag. Because I don't know what the Zacian's going to do on their side. They're super weakened though. So I'm really not as worried. They could Sword Sands here. And I think that's like one of the threatening things. I don't want to attack into a fake out. And I really don't want to try to lose a Mon here. So let's play a slow conservative game here. And they switch out finally. Okay, that's fine. Into Reelaboom? Yeah, that's fine. Don't mind that too much. We still haven't seen a Max yet. <laughs> which is a... Uh, a little bit. It's been awkward, but we should be fine. I don't know if they... They should be harder powering here, I'd imagine. So I'm going to go out into my Papa Bulu. Now, they are powered to Magnazone. Really solid play on their part. And I mean really solid play on their part. Let's see if they do it. Because I could have went uh, hard Bulu on the, on the Kyogre. And I think that would have been pretty fair. Ice Beam. Okay. <laughs> they did expect a Bulu. Yeah, that's what I expected. I thought if you're going to do anything, you're probably Earth Powering my Incin or Ice Beaming Kyogre. I didn't. I thought Earth Power on Kyogre could have been an option, but it's like it's unlikely. So yeah, that's pretty solid for me. Okay, cool. I think I just Horn Leech here. And what do I do with you? Because I don't know. This could be Fake Out. Oh, is this Yawn? This could be Yawn. I feel like Horn Leech here is pretty safe, and I think go for the Volt Switch. Actually, no. This is Fake Out Ice Beam or Fake Out Yawn into Bulu. So, you know what? I'm going to go to Instant here. And I think I'm going to Volt Switch out there. Real boom. Yeah. I'm trying to think about positioning. And I think they should always target the Bulu slot. Like, the Magnazone isn't a damage dealer to their team here. And I think Ice Beam or Yawn into the Instant slot makes way too much sense right here. So, let's see if I'm correct. Oh, they retreat Gastro into Grim Snarl. That's fine. Are you U-turning? No, fake out. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that works out for me. I got a Volt Switch off into their Rillaboom. And yeah, this is perfectly fine. 
I could probably just go out into top of Bulu, click some parting shots into the real boom slot, just throw off some horn leeches into their Grimsaw slot. And yeah, this is looking like a pretty safe decision. I also have brick break in case they have dual screens and get both screens up, which is fine. So yeah, I'm going to parting shot out the real boom this time and go for a, I also flare with horn leech to real boom. That also is really big of a threat right here. That might be the right play. I guess that isn't that bad of a play. Yeah, I'm going to try it. If I get rid of Rillaboom or Gastrodon, I'm in a really solid position. So let's see. I think this might be Gastro here. I really do think this might be Gastro. Or... Okay, they reflect here, which is fine. I think it's U-turn out into Gastro. Yep. U-turn? Either give me the Zacian or give me the Gastro. Gastro is pretty big because that's a Magnazone answer. And then they have really limited ways to hit Magnazone. Then Magnazone just sweeps their team. So this is really ideal here. Yep, Gastro. Called it. Are you in the berry? Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> Who cares about Reflect? Goodbye. So they changed the team quite a bit because I remember the Grimstone only having one screen if it had a screen. I remember Fake Out Thunder Wave. Spirit Break. I don't remember if it's Trick or not on the original, but yeah, pretty solid position right here. That's a massive win here. Okay. And I don't need real boom anymore, right? I don't think I do. I mean not real boom, uh the Bulu. I don't think I need it anymore. I'm pretty sure Mag wins at this point. They go hard into their real boom. Interesting. Is it for maxing? It might be for maxing here. I'm going to swap here into Kyogre, I think, because I don't need Kyogre anymore, right? I'm pretty sure like instant intimates way more valuable to me at this point in the game. I'm going to go for a Horn Leech into their Grimmsnarl. They might forfeit the game. No, they're not. Okay. So I'm going to go out into Kyogre because I don't need Kyogre anymore. I'd rather sack Kyogre because it's not doing anything at this point in the game. I'd rather have the Intimidate from instant. I'd rather get Magnezone in pretty safely, go for Steel Spikes. I think that's like a way more solid play. We're gonna see their max finally. This is probably gonna be the GMAX Rillaboom right here. And yeah, I'm completely fine with that. So yeah, GMAX Rillaboom comes out. Three minutes till the end of the battle. I should be able to secure this game, I think, based on timer, but we'll see. It should be drum solo and Anson. Yep, I had a feeling. So that's why I was fine with sacking Kyogre. Uh, Magnuson would have taken way too much damage from that hit. Here comes a Horn Leech into the Grim Snarl, which is really solid here. And yeah, that's some really good damage. I really like that damage. And Spear Break going to come out. Okay. Bulu didn't take that exactly super well, but that's fine. I get to go mag here. I get to click steel spike. I probably get to go in sin afterward. And yeah, then I have pretty fun time just steel spiking for the rest of the game. So yeah, we will go into mag here. Click the steel spike. Even if we take the minus one, that's pretty okay. I think for the most part. And yeah, mag, mag will clean up this game, which you love to see. So we will steel spike the grim snarl. We're, we're going to switch out to in sin for the intimidate. And uh, let's see, because I don't really see their options. I mean, maybe they can win on timer, but I don't think they have enough HP because the Grimstone is low. And the only thing that's low on my team is the instant slot that's coming in, which is the mod that's acceptable because I'll have the advantage if instant survives. And if it goes down, I have way more of a HP advantage. Wait, hold on. Did I mess this up? I'm trying to think, okay, what happens if they double in the instant slot right here? I might have messed up actually based on timer. Let me think. So Mag is going to come out, pick up the knock on Grim. I guess the question is, is Grim faster than Mag? I feel like it is. I have like no investment on my Mag speed wise. And Mag's zone is slower, I think naturally. Oh, they light screen. Okay, we're good. Because the point isn't to do the damage into real boom is to stall it out right here. They max strike. Okay, yeah, the, this game's over. <laughs> Pretty sure the grass, the resisted max move would have done way more with the uh, grass drum solo. But yeah, now this is 100% game because uh, this is the remaining timer. Right? It looks like I would have won regardless because they didn't have enough time, right? They have a like a red HP Zacian remaining and they need a knock on instant at least for considered. But I think I have more maximum HP. 
if we didn't count timer at all i think i would win this game in the long run assuming no crits because i'd have steel spike magnet zone just boosted i think and the real boom really couldn't touch me through my defense boost and my flash cannons would do a decent amount so i think overall i would be able to win the game regardless for in the long run but yeah they don't have a shot now with the timer and magnet zone Ooh, trapping bulu excellent and that's what you love to see here we're gonna see Isation come out here and i am gonna go for a I guess I max steel spike here. Yeah, I just keep max steel spiking. I max steel spike and I go for a fake out into their Zacian. But yeah, because that means Zacian won't be able to pick up a knockout. Real would have to target the instant for a knockout. Then it's like I have a whole top of Bulu as well as the uh the Magnezone. I can brick break away the screens and yeah. So nice. Magnezone was able to trap. I actually was really unsure about that matchup, but I think I made some really good reads. The Gastron catch was absolutely huge, I think. And that really just like showed the momentum. And I think like I was trying to anticipate a lot of their moves and keep one step ahead. And I think for the most part, I was able to do most of that. And it really just shows like how powerful trapping can be because like there's Asia with such an awkward position a lot of times. And even by the time they finally switched out, they were already low HP. There's Asia wasn't getting much out of it. And yeah, I think consistently I was able to get some really nice pins into that target slot and uh, just weaken their team set up for my side of the field. And yeah, it just ended up working out perfectly. And that is the show. Magna Zone was pretty good. Trappy in Zacian and the Diaga, which was fantastic. And even though it wasn't really set up for, I guess, the Glass Jiren game I wanted, I guess we could set up for like Bulu and Kyogre to do really well against the Steel types. But if you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like down below, leave a comment down below. It really does help me out. And make sure you try the team with the Rentico. Two weeks to grab the team. Pace been available in the description down below. But otherwise, that's going to be it for me. Have a great day, people. And until we bow again, I'll catch you all later.